All right, hey guys, OFD checking in here on a Sunday, and I know I've been doing a lot of kind of high-end watch reviews. I've had a lot of really more expensive watches here on the channel, and today I was over at Walmart buying some silicone to put to do some work on my car, and actually I came across the watches as I always do, and I'm always drawn to Casio watches, and I realized that this is a watch that I've seen on so many YouTube channels out there, and I've never taken the time to review it here on the channel. It's what I consider to be like the fancy F91W, and I've had a couple of those F91Ws here on the channel before in the past, but uh, for the for the uh, video today for this unboxing, I'm wearing my uh, old GW9000A. I've had this watch for many, many years. This is what people called the Five-Eyed Monster back in its day when it came out because you had the five um, multiband six, kind of the radio signal um, indicators there. You can see this one is still working really good lets us know that it communicated with the Fort Collins antenna last night. So cool, uh, love Casio watches, had them ever since I was a kid. So let's go ahead and jump into this one. Now, I wanna go ahead and flip over the box here and show you guys the part number. Now I did, like I said, I bought this one at Walmart, so you'll see it's even uh, mentioned that these are distributed by Walmart. There's a Walmart product, I guess they, you know, Walmart's big enough, they package them themselves, or they have it packaged for them. But this is the A158WEA9KC. I think we'll just call it the A158W. The EA probably has something to do with the colorway that I chose here. Um, you guys can hear somebody's watch chimed. I might, might be the one in the box, actually, because um, this is an alarm functioning watch. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Peel the box off or take the box off the top here. And there you guys go. Yeah, it was definitely this watch that chimed because it just turned to one o'clock. So uh, $19.92. So you're paying about $20 with tax and everything for this little watch here. And it's a great, great looking piece. I have to tell you, um, I, I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times I see these watches on people's wrists. It's a super, super popular piece. Uh, no matter what the colorway you buy of it is, it's just a super popular watch. And, it, and for, you know, all the right reasons, first of all, I'll tell you, it's a it's a good looking little watch. It's a very fashionable watch. You know, I grew up, I was born in 1970, grew up in the 80s and the 90s. So watches like this were common fare all around me. Um, and, you know, I've always been into these type of watches, digital Casio style watches. I was always an analog guy growing up, really liked them, but I was always intrigued by the Casio watch, especially the G-Shock series as those came out uh, when I was a kid. Now, this is a stainless steel bracelet on here. Uh, the case, you know, I'm not... I'm not sure if the case is stainless steel. I think it is chromed plastic on the case here, but you know, it looks really good, much like the World Timer with the stainless steel looking case on it. The bracelet's a nice looking little bracelet. As a matter of fact, I don't even know how these work, guys. I'm gonna have to figure that out before I try to get it on my seven inch wrist. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we undo the clasp there. We'll get that figured out to get it on my wrist. Simple, um, what I do believe is gonna be a hair pulling bracelet to kind of look at the links on this thing and, and the stiffness of it. It's probably gonna pull hair a little bit, but good, good looking watch. Let's talk a little bit more about these. Now, they're a petite watch. This comes in at a 33 millimeter case side from side to case size, excuse me, from side to side. You got 46 lug tip to lug tip. I do believe this is gonna be an 18, 16 or 18 millimeter lug opening on the watch if you do decide to take it off the bracelet and they come in at like nine millimeters of thickness so it's gonna it's gonna be a very comfortable watch to wear very easy to wear on the wrist and that like I said they have them with different colorways they've got one with silver some with blue I like this gold I thought it was kind of classy looking I've never actually seen this one before so I like the way it's all set up so looking at the cleanness of the dial you can see up here at the top you've got your day of the week you've got your date over here the 15th now this isn't set I haven't messed with this watch or anything clean legible with the time there it lets you know a.m. or p.m. now I will show you with this button over here you can switch it 24 hour time as simple as that. Just using this little button down here at the bottom lets you know PM there. Of course, when you switch it over to 24 hour time, it lets you know right there um, at the top, just above the 1300 hours. I wanted to note also, you guys can see that little bell up there. That's indicating the alarm is set. And right next to that, the little lines, that's letting you know that the chime function is on, which we heard actually before this watch actually came out of the box. So let's roll through the modes. Very simple, simple little watch here. Now you can see the alarm, and if you want to actually set the alarm, I believe you use this button down here. Actually, that turns the alarm and the chime on and off. So you got the alarm on, alarm and chime on, everything off, just the chime on. So interesting there. And I let's see, how do we how do we reset? Okay, let's see, maybe holding down this one. Yeah, there we go. Now that lets us set the alarm for whatever time we want it for. Let's go ahead and set it for six in the morning or 6.15, which this should be because it's in the 24 hour mode. So we'll just say 6.15 a.m. Get that set and most likely we push this one again. Simple, easy to use. And now we want to set the alarm so we have the chime on. So we push that again, that sets the alarm. 
Now we have alarm and chime both on and we are in 24 hour mode. Go ahead and push it one more time and that takes us back to the time setting mode. So we'll go back through the alarm and then we have a stopwatch functionality here. Super simple and easy to use, just a, just a clean, easy to use stopwatch functionality on the watch. If you're jogging, if you just want to time some kind of a simple event, as easy as that. Start and stop with the one button up here and with the light button up there at the top, that also resets everything. So go back to the time set, uh, functionality here. So good looking little watch. Like I said, guys, they have a number of different colorways available. I'm gonna leave some Amazon links down below in the bottom where you guys can pick these up. I think they're even less on Amazon than at Walmart. Um, you can see they're water resistant now. You know, that's going to be hit or miss. You hear of these watches and F91Ws of people taking these down to ridiculous depths, like 100 feet, people doing, you know, scuba or snorkeling with them just to see what will happen. And these watches tend to hold up really good. I wouldn't suggest doing that. You know, maybe some light swimming with this. I'm not really sure what the water resist means, how many feet that means or anything. But like I said, I've, I've seen some videos and heard of people getting away with quite a bit with these watches. So let's go ahead and pause it, get this watch on my seven inch wrist and stick around. I'm not gonna do a loom shot, but I'll show you the light function on this watch. All right, now it is a petite watch on my seven inch wrist, but it fits very well. And if you guys are into, you know, minimal size watches and nice, small, clean, easy to use, easy to read watches, I would suggest this watch. It's a really, really nice looking piece, especially for the price point. I mean, um, all of these 158 or the A158 series, depending on the colorway or whatnot, it's a great looking watch. And I know that these bracelets probably pull hair after a little bit, but honestly, I think it looks really, really good on the factory bracelet. And it was super easy to adjust to my seven inch wrist. I believe it'll fit um, a much smaller wrist, not a whole lot larger wrist, I'll tell you that. There wasn't a whole lot of meat left on the bracelet to adjust it out. Um, um, but it's probably going to fit maybe seven and a half to eight inch wrist, maximum eight inch, I would think. And even at that, it might be a little tight on the wrist. So let's go ahead and dim the lights and check out the light function on this watch. All right. So prepare to have your mind blown. Actually, probably not. So that's the light. It's just the, these are the little like 1970s, 1980s style incandescent light bulb that just lights up over the side. It, it doesn't stay on. I don't believe even if you hold it on for a while, if it locks it to where it'll stay on, I don't think so. No, you're just burning off the battery. So simple, easy to use, very cool little watch here from Casio, the A158WEA cool little watch. Guys, I'll leave the links down below in the bottom where you can pick one of these up off Amazon if you want to get one. So, all right, guys, you like the video, give me a thumbs up down there at the bottom. And if you've not subscribed to the OFD channel yet, please do. Please do. Thanks, guys.